Hey everybody, Mr. Grove here. Uh, we're going to go over the review answers for the little review games that I put on Classroom for you. So this will be your word bank uh, that you will see on your test on Tuesday. So it's got all the phylum and all the classes. Uh, you will have that. You just need to know which one goes with which. So which phylum is which and which class goes with which. So let's take a look at the question. So number one, what phylum? So this would be a sponge. So it would be the phylum periphera. Uh, number two, what class? Uh, so this would be our tapeworm. So this is going to be class Cestoda. So phylum was platyhelminthes, class Cestoda. Number three, do I have tissues? Uh, if you were anything but a sponge, the answer would be yes, but not if you're a sponge, no tissues. Number four, what kind of symmetry? So this would be a jellyfish, and all Nadarians have radial symmetry. Uh, number five, what kingdom am I? So in this case, uh, we are the animal kingdom, and that'd be anything we talked about this chapter. Number six, uh, what phylum? So these are all the round worms, and so that'd be the phylum nematoda. Number seven, am I multicellular? And that would be the answer yes for everything we talked about this chapter. Number eight, what class? And so these are the free-swimming, free-floating jellyfish. So that would be Scyphozoa. So the class Scyphozoa, phylum nadaria. Do I have a coelom? And the answer is no. We have not talked about anything that has a complete coelom yet. Um, what phylum? So this would be a sea anemone, and anemones are part of the jellyfish family. So this would be phylum nadaria. Do I have a gastrovascular cavity? And the answer is yes. So uh, one opening, food goes in, gets digested, comes back out the same opening. Am I parasitic? Yes. So roundworms are going to be parasitic. Um, pretty much all of them are. So yes on that. Uh, what phylum? So we've got a very flat looking worm here. And so this is going to be flat rhymes with plat. So platyhelminthes. And then this would be the class Turbillaria, because these are the good guys just swimming around the ocean. Uh, medusa or polyp? So tentacles are hanging down, so this would be a medusa. Do I have chanocytes? Uh, chanocytes are the special cells of sponges, and this is a sponge, so the answer is yes. Uh, do I have proglottids? No, proglot this is a roundworm nematode. Uh, proglottids are the little segments on the tapeworms in class Cestoda of the flatworms, so no on the proglottids here. Do I have a pseudocelum? Yes, so roundworms had the pseudocelum. It wasn't a complete coelom, but we're getting close, so we would call it a pseudocelum. Spicules or spongins, so this spongin looks like it would be a little squishy. Uh, the sponge does, and so that would be spongin. If it was a more firm type of sponge, then that would be spicules. Do I have nidocytes? So nidocytes are the stinging cells, and these are flukes from the flatworms, and so that is no. So nidocytes would be on the nadarians, not on the platyhelminthes. Am I sessile or mobile? Uh, and so this would be a coral, um, and it's not really going to move around, so we would call that sessile. So let's switch over to the other review game. So this is the one where we do the little fun questions on the evens. So which animal is Cecil? Um, and we would say our sponge. So our planaria, jellyfish, and roundworm can all move around. Uh, name this famous American. That would be President John F. Kennedy. Um, which animal has a complete digestive tract? Okay, so that means a mouth and a pooper. Uh, that would be the roundworm, nematoda. No digestion, gastrovascular cavity, gastrovascular cavity, so our answer is C. Name this famous American, and that would be Mr. Billy Graham. Which animal has a nematocyst? So nematocysts were the stinging cell, so that would be letter D, our jellyfish. Name this famous American, that would be Dr. Martin Luther King. Which two animals have bilateral symmetry? So sponges are asymmetrical, jellyfish are radial, so our bilateral would be our roundworms, the nematodes, and our flatworms, the platyhelminthes. So B and C. This famous American, Mr. Bill Gates. 
Uh, which animal is shown as a medusa? So that would be our jellyfish. So the tentacles are hanging down as it swims through freely. Uh, name this famous American. This is Al Capone. Which animals have tissues? Uh, that's going to be everybody but the sponge. So sponges do not have tissues. So C, D, and B are a yes. This famous American, Mr. Teddy Roosevelt. Which animals are parasitic? So that's going to be D and B are two worms. So the Platyhelminthes cestoda and then the nematodes. This famous American would be Miss Amelia Earhart. Uh, which one is asymmetrical? And so that'd be letter A. So radial symmetry and bilateral bilateral. So asymmetry would be our sponge. This famous American, the beautiful Marilyn Monroe. Which animal is a predator? And that's going to be letter C, the sea anemone. This famous American is Mr. Alfred Hitchcock. Check out some of his old movies if you haven't. Um, which animal is in the form of a polyp? So that's the tentacles upward, and that is going to be the sea anemone. This famous American, Mr. Andrew Jackson. Uh, which animal has the chanocytes? So that's our collar cells, and that's what the sponges use to create their current uh, that they filter food from. He shall return, and that's General Douglas MacArthur. Multicellular, and that would be all of the above. All animals are going to be multicellular. And our last famous American, the lovely Miss Lucille Ball. So those are the review answers. Um, so study over those and study, study, study for your test. Uh, all the notes are on Classroom, and we'll test it up on Tuesday.